Never Stop Learning, week 158. I'm going to take a quick look at the gradient updates available to you in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. So with this release, we've gotten three new updates, and I'm going to run through these guys really quick. Uh, let me hide this text layer here, and let's focus over here in the Layers panel. I have this gradient fill above this yellow layer here. So what I want to do is create a gradient that starts at 100% black and then ends to nothing so that it exposes the layer below. All right, the way we would normally do that is click on this stop right here and then drop the opacity down to zero. Now what that's doing is it's creating a gradient that starts at 100% black and is fading to 0% white. So we are getting some white right here and not getting the exact effect I want. So what we would normally do is come over here to this color stop and instead of having a white color stop, we would change this to black. So now it's fading from 100% black to 0% black and now we have this awesome fade going on right here. All right, I'm gonna show you a new way to work. I'm gonna undo that and the new update we have is you could remove this color stop completely and now what we've done is we've created a single color gradient. It's going from 100% black to nothing over here on this end. So that's pretty cool right there. It speeds things up a bit. I'll click OK to accept that and let's bring back this text layer. I'm going to target it and I want to add a layer style to it which is going to be a gradient overlay. The gradient overlay, I'm going to make a couple changes to this guy. I want to change it to a radial gradient and that's just so you can see what's going on. If I click and drag, you see I can reposition my gradient. But if I want to reset the positioning, just come over here and you have this new button, Reset Alignment. When I click on it, it resets the gradient position for me. So if I click and drag and move it to the wrong spot, I could reset the alignment and I'm good to go. All right, let me make some changes to this just so it could look cool. I'll click OK to accept that. Now I'll come back to this gradient fill. I'm going to make an edit to this. Uh, I no longer want this yellow background. I actually want to choose uh, one of these cool presets that we have here. All right, now that I have this one set up, I want to make some edits to it. I'd like to create a color stop right here using this color information you see up here, over here on the top. Now, if I just click right here to create a color stop, this isn't the effect I want. I'm actually adding the last color I chose. So I'm going to undo that. And in order to get this color information as a color stop down here, all you have to do is hit Alter Option and then click on it once. And now we have this color created as a color stop right here. I'm just going to make one quick edit right here. I get this cool effect. And there you have it, folks. Those are the three new gradient updates available to you in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.